But let me just start off with uh, what we always say now, too much, too little, too polluted. And that really is our new norm. All of us who work in the water space, this is what we're living with. We wake up every single morning, we turn on the television, read the newspaper, there's a crisis. We've been thrilled to be here at Stockholm Water Week. It is the perfect place where we bring governments, private sector, civil society together to talk about how we address our global water challenges, how we can bring more actors in, how we can leverage resources, and how we can make sure we get collective decision making as we go forward. We have so many challenges, but so many opportunities. And being in the bank, we have the opportunity to bring together a lot of the actors. We bring a lot of rigorous analytics. We can share knowledge, we can share uh, what works and what doesn't work. Water is core to Africa's development and future. And one of the things that we are focused on in the World Bank is exactly that. How do we help countries across Africa develop and manage their water resources so they can collectively benefit? Historically, there have been very high costs in access and the use of uh, resources to service the sector. Um, the, the road to the SDGs and securing the financing that we need is not necessarily through money, but rather through improving the enabling environment which is looking at the efficiency of the service providers and more transparent governance and regulatory framework so that we can deliver the services that we've all committed to under the SDGs. So what we're finding from, when we talk about citywide inclusive sanitation here at CIWI this year is that there's a lot of traction, there's a lot of interest. Um, there's a lot of people that are using the term, but more importantly are using the approach in their projects around the world to make sure that urban sanitation services are getting to all including the poor. So it's, it's, it's very exciting to see other entities, other government counterparts that are working with this vision of citywide inclusive sanitation. This year we are concentrating a lot on the topic on how do we plan for resilience and how do we actually do it in practice. Resilience is a, a necessary condition now when we look at an uncertain future with lots of uh, shocks and stresses and risks that our uh, water systems are uh, facing. One thing that's very, very important for us is in water, we always say, leave no one behind. And this is how we feel it's so, so important, technology, disruption, innovation. We find it very, very important at the country level that we need really to make technology innovation open and accessible to everyone. My initial assumption was that there would be more women in the room, but I see a good diversity here. So that is a positive indication that men and women are... Our main focus is on building the evidence of knowledge, curating knowledge, advocacy around it, and at the same time build up partnerships and see that we collaborate with other agencies to take the agenda on social inclusion forward. There are challenges, but every challenge has a solution.